Hey everybody, welcome back. We have day 45 with arms for volume. Um, we are gonna be doing some heavier volume kind of uh, repeating sets. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I have a set of eights, a set of tens, a set of 15s, a set of 20s and a 35 pound kettlebell. So we're going to start every, uh, every kind of block of work with 20 jumping jack presses and use my tens for that. Then we'll have two exercises, arm exercises at only five reps. So that's our low uh, volume sets, skull crushers, alternating curls for that first block. And then we're gonna finish each block of work with shoulder taps, 20 each arm. So we'll get lots of core in today as well, tapping each shoulder 20 times. Then we'll hit those 20, uh, 20 jumping jack presses again, and then our five um, reps of a heavier set. So lots of uh, biceps, lots of triceps, lots of shoulders, um, getting into those arms. Of course, we always want to grab and contract through the back first. All right, bring those arms up overhead and then exhale over your legs. Take both hands outside your right calf, pull a bit. Both hands outside your left, pull. <clears throat> and then interlace your hands behind your back. Push your hands away from the hips and then just kind of gently pull. <sighs> and then release. And let's go ahead and walk ourselves out. Walk out into that downward facing dog. Grab deep into the core, slide those shoulder blades down. Take a couple deep breaths here. If you need to kind of pedal out the legs, feel free. Go ahead. Grab your left calf, outside of your left calf with your right hand, twist across. Let's take a deep breath. And then switch, plant that right hand. Grab outside the right calf with your left hand. Take that breath. And then let's go back and forth a couple times. So tap and tap. So check in here with that upper back. Engage, contract, hollow out your armpits. So you're putting pressure into the back, grabbing support through the core and your quads, pulling your kneecaps up. Actually activating your quads here will give your hamstrings a little bit more space to stretch as well. So you're giving kind of double whammy here. One more each side, left and right. And then come down onto your hands and knees. Curl the toes under so you can get some stretch through the bottom of the feet. And then let's go ahead and come forward and stretch all the way over those wrists. Hinge back, stretch forward. Pull your elbows back to point at your thighs. And then pull the inner elbow forward. Get some extra stretch there. Okay, make little circles over your wrists. One more this direction, and then let's go the other way. And then start um, moving your hands apart as you lean side to side. So start just turning your hands toward the outside of the mat. Now your thumbs are facing forward, fingertips out to the sides, keep twisting, keep twisting, and then stop when your fingertips are pointing at your knees. Hinge back, stretch. This is how I keep my elbows happy, try to minimize any tendonitis. Golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, not fun if you've ever dealt with it, it's not fun. But keeping these forearms stretched, wrists stretched, is a really great way, at least for me. It's helped me keep it at bay. All right, tuck your um, hands under or flip them over so that your palms are facing up. And then rotate those elbows in and out. Lean back again. Just get as much stretch as you can. All right, sit back on your heels. One arm forward, pull the palm toward you. And then up, other side, down and up. 
All right, back onto those hands and knees. We're gonna go into just a little bit of a scapula squeeze. Shove your shoulder blades together and then round out. So instead of a cat cow, focus on the upper back. There's three, we'll go to five. Four and five. And then our thread the needle. Inhale, twist up. And then exhale, tuck under. Get that stretch. And then the other side. Inhale, twist up, exhale, tuck under, and then get that stretch. All right, pop it up, feeling good. So like I said, we're gonna be starting every block off with our jumping jack press. Here we go, first round, 20 reps. Elbows out wide, push with that jump, build that momentum. Super contracted core. Twenty. All right. Now we're going to go into our skull crushers. Just five. So if you'd like to push your hips up, hold your weight right up over your head. Elbows need to stay right on top of your shoulders. Squeeze those elbows in tight. Your weight's gonna come down just to your hairline, not behind the head. As long as those elbows are right on top of the shoulders, then we're in good form. Okay, this first set of curls, I'm gonna use my heavier set of dumbbells, and we're gonna go for an alternating curl, a little corkscrew curl. So right arm, curl up, all the way back left. Check in with your body here, your trunk and torso, make sure you're not twisting or rotating or hinging. A lot of times I see the chest drop forward as the weight comes down. We need to keep it up, lifted, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Here's four. And five. All right, we're going to hit up our shoulder taps. Down on the ground, high plank. Try to keep those hips as level as possible. Plant your hand right under the shoulder. Perfect. All right, back into your jumping jack press. One, two. Okay, this time we're gonna go five kickbacks. Use my 15s, hinge forward, flat back, really strong core. Keep your elbows up so that the upper arm is parallel to the ground. Control the drop. Five, perfect. All right, curls. We're just gonna go regular curls. See what we can do with the 20s. I am careful with my curls because that does seem to be what aggravates my elbows. Two, feels good. Three, learn to understand different types of pain when you need to back off, do something different and when you can stick with it. All right, shoulder taps. Tuck in, hold that core. Okay. 
All right. Back up. <clears throat> Jumping jack press. Elbows out wide. Here we go. Those are starting to get a little tougher. Okay. Overhead tricep extension. And then an elevated core. I mean elevated curl. So grab my 20. Actually, I'm gonna grab my both, my double 15s. Squeezing those elbows in. Keep that core nice and strong. Two, the body stable and still. Four, five. All right, elevated curl. Grab those eights or something smaller. Arms come out wide, palms up. Curl in and then extend out. Three, pinch into your back, four, and five. Shoulder taps. Set up a solid, solid plank. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <sighs> okay, here we go. Back into our jumping jack press. <sighs> One, two. <sighs> Engage to that back. Okay, give my arms a little break. We're hitting up an overhead press and then a back tap. Remember to grab into the back, solid core. Three, four, five. I knew those would be tough after all those jumping jack presses. Whew. Okay, now we hit up our back taps. Hinge forward, let your weights hang long. So you're kind of gripping just under your belt. Tap behind, stop the weights at your thighs. Four, five. All right. Shoulder taps. Last one for the set. Four, five. All right, knees down, side back. Stretch out those shoulders a second. Whew. Good first set. Come up onto your hands and knees. Slide those shoulders forward. Turn your fingertips around. Stretch your forearms this way, so now you sit back. Pull your palm toward you, palm toward you. All right, here we go. Set two. Jumping jack press. If you need to adjust your weights, feel free. But also mentally connect. Why do you want to adjust? Is it because you're losing form, technique? 
or execution? <laughs> or is it just because you're getting tired and you don't want to anymore? As those shoulders fatigue, pack the back more. All right, on our backs, skull crushers. Squeeze those elbows in. Take your time. Feel that full range of motion. Two. Get those triceps. Three. Four. Five. Back here. All right, alternating curls, corkscrew curls. Here we go. One and one. See if you can keep that elbow right under the shoulder so it's not coming forward. Don't forget that your drop is super important. That's where you build more muscle. All right, let's bring on those shoulder taps. These repeating exercises, higher reps, it's building endurance, strength, mental toughness. Jumping jack press. Here we go. Watching that low back. Okay, overhead try. Oh no, kickbacks. Kickbacks for this one. And then our straight up curls. Five, four, three, control, two, and one. Soft knees. Strong body. Check in. Are you moving anywhere else? Should just be those forearms. Here we go, shoulder taps. Good, good, good. Okay, flex it in. Relax the neck. Push with the back and the shoulders. Now we have our overhead tricep extensions. Ooh. 
definitely feeling it. Two, three, four, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those elbows in. One more. Just for fun. Oh. Elevated curl. Just five. Bring those arms up. Curl. Nice work. Three. Tuck those hips. Keep your solid stance. Five. Finding that ab draw. Tailbone little tuck. Four. Five. Six. Get into that core. Make sure you're feeling the back. Brace and support for the shoulders. Lock it in. Left arm, four, shower. All right, overhead press. So no jumping, just strict presses. Finding that focus. Back taps are next. These will get back into the triceps, the core, and the back muscles as we hinge forward. At the thighs is where our start is. All right. Come on, shoulder taps. Four. There's ten. All right, third round coming up. Third round's a money maker. I know we've had a lot of reps, a lot, a lot, a lot of reps. <clears throat> Those jumping jack presses, take a thread the needle real quick. Stretch through top of that shoulder, but we can do it. If you need to work into body weight, less weight, but we're gonna stay solid. We're going to get it done. It's pushing past that point that we really want to keep going. I feel it if I stop now, but we want to use all we can, get all we can out of these 30 minutes. Bigger grab through that core. So we want to utilize the core for everything. We take focus core sets on our core days. And then it's locked through everything else, not just our workouts, but our entire day. Even if you're sitting, in a chair most of your day, 
you can find that core. Start to build that habit. Elbows in, elbows in. Here we go. Set it down. So you don't get your hair. Whew. All right, corkscrew curls. Find that stance. So here, core first. Four. Keep those wrists neutral. And five. All right. We definitely get our core here. See how little you can shift your hips. One block done. Here we go. Totally lost my count. That's okay. Just focused on my core. <laughs> All right, kickbacks for five. Slow these down. Four. Three. Two. Lengthen that back. One. Strict curls. To utilize that heat, heavy weight, four, lifted chest, roll those shoulder blades back, five, here we go, four, for shoulder taps. Jumping jack press next. Take a sec. Take a little stretch if you want. One side. And then the other. All right, here we go. 20. Two sets to go. Overhead triceps. One. Three. Four. Five. Elevated curls. One, two, keep flexion on those biceps, flexion in your back. Five. 
shoulder taps. Find that core. Get to work. Hold strong. All right, last set. Here we go. Make it just as solid as the early ones. Hold and go, hold and go. All right, here we go. Set it in. One at a time, find your pace, find your core, find your back. Find your shoulders, squeeze the glutes. And we're there. Whew. All right, good job. Reach those arms forward. Keep your elbows off the ground. Long stretch through the back, the upper back, and the top of the shoulders. Ah, put your hands together and we'll do our triceps. So reach your fingertips down your back. Stretch through those triceps. Nice job. All right. Definitely built our muscular endurance today. Hands and knees, stretch over those wrists again. Slide the shoulder blades down, okay? And then flip them around. Turn your fingertips towards your knees. Sit back as far as you can, bend your right elbow, and then your left and then flip those hands over. Backs of the hands on the ground. Get that stretch the other direction. I like to rotate my elbows in and out. Get that extra stretch through those forearms. Okay, let's go back into our thread the needle. Whew. Plant onto that left hand, inhale, bring your right arm up. We're gonna hold here for two breaths. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then tuck under. Slide under as far as you can. Bring your hips back to the right. See if you can get your head on the ground. See if you can get the outside of that shoulder on the ground. Slide it down away from your ear. Okay, push up, and we're going to hit that other side plant on your right hand. Lift your left. Deep inhale and exhale. And then another inhale. Exhale. And then slide under. <sighs> Pull your hips to the left. 
Fantastic job. Whew. All right, and then one more. Sit yourself down on your bottom. Hands go behind. Fingertips face your butt. Start here. Lift the chest. Pull the shoulders back so you should feel some stretch through the front of the shoulders. And if you can, lift your hips. More stretch to the fronts of those shoulders. And then slowly slide your hips forward and down. All right. Let's take one forward fold. Sounds like it would be really nice on our low back. Reach your arms forward. And then let your back round. Tuck your chin in. Round through that upper back. We're about at the time I start thinking about our next cycle of work, our next series. So I have I usually base my plans and thoughts on what I've heard or read and I've connected with in research and the industry. But if you have some thoughts or opinions, I would definitely take them. Doesn't mean that's what we'll go for, but hey, it doesn't hurt to see what everybody else is uh, feeling like. So great work today. I'll see you again very soon.